Hello guys and welcome back to my SimCity 4 Let's Play. Um, it's been quite a while. So long in fact that I don't even remember what episode we're on. But uh, I'm sure you'll, I'll figure it out. So yeah, we're back here at the airport where we have been building and yeah, it's changed quite a bit. Um, actually none of these changes is very recent, I just haven't recorded anything since uh, for a long time because... I mean, there was the holiday period with Christmas and Happy New Year. Oh, also, Happy New Year. Uh, yeah, there was that holiday period, and then um, then basically on the 7th January, my exam started, my university exams. So uh, I had to devote a lot of time to that, which meant that I didn't really have a lot of time to record. I have a few uh, moments to record, so I decided to get an episode out today. So we wouldn't have like a, a three month gap or something. Um, what's new here? I removed the two piers that were over here and over here to make more room for a more realistic setup. Uh, we have some uh, smaller airplanes here for regional traffic, DC-8s mostly, I really like these. Then they, this is a refueling station, although I don't really think the planes can get over there. There's a, an access road here, some nice stop signs and everything. There should be a gate here. I should maybe make a, a version of this this guy here with the, the arrows with a gate on it. I will do that. Okay, we'll take curve around, some more here. They, I also installed this pack with uh, all these nice uh, lines. They're really smooth and they have letters on, on it and everything. It's really cool. Uh, this is also in DC-8. And then we have a few uh, larger airplanes here. I think these are DC-80s. Uh, MD, MD-80s, yeah. And this is an MD-90. Uh, I chose mainly uh, American airliners because I don't know why I, I kind of like the design on them, uh, but also because I mean it is the whole region is kind of American team, so yeah, it makes sense. Uh, I moved this a bit. I also removed the strange tree here. There used to be a tree here. Uh, I finally found a piece to fill this in. And then now we have this nice looking corner here. I think I moved this a bit. And then the the big the big changes are over here though. Uh, we have basically a cargo area. I will not click you because last time I did that I crashed and I had to re-record it. Uh, this is a distribution center so the, the trucks come in here and then everything is shipped out. Uh, my cat is coming dangerously close to the keyboard. Um, we have two more distribution centers here and then we have UPS airplanes, some uh, more UPS airplanes. A bigger refueling station. Uh, uh, what is this called? It had a name, but I I'm kind of afraid to click it because I don't want to crash. Uh, another, yeah. I guess these are sort of uh, you know mobility stuff. They can drive on here. We should also have some gates over there actually. And then we have a DHL, uh, another UPS. So UPS really is the the big uh, airliner of here. And then two larger airplanes, a Mirsk and a FedEx one that is being loaded right now. And there's also one taking off right here. Or is it landing? I don't know really. It's probably landing because if it were taking off it should probably start going up. Uh, otherwise it will <laughs> run off the, the runway. But yeah, this looks cool. Um, I also tried this out. Um, I wasn't really happy with the station I, I had here. It was just too big for the size of the airport. So I decided to try out this guy here. Which is... A station that I uh, custom loaded. I'm not really happy with it. I don't know. I mean, I like these trains and everything, and it's based on the Amsterdam Central Station with some uh, extra buildings over here that are, I think, Il Tangso made it. Uh, e e uh, I L L Tangso. Uh, these are, I think, these are recreations from certain buildings in London, actually. But I thought they fit reasonably well together. I don't know really. Um, they have not a lot of platforms. We have some nice, um, some nice rails here. These guys. Uh, this is really more of an access, uh, access platform for uh, emergency and everything. The trains cannot really enter through here. They can enter here though. My cat is just looking at me like, "What the hell are you doing?" <laughs> she doesn't really understand that I'm just talking out here and uh, talking to no one really. <laughs> well, talking to you, but she doesn't realize it. And uh, some nice catenaries. Okay, that looks... Well, I, I guess it looks decent, but there's something missing from that. I don't know what. Uh, there's some flags here, based on the Hong Kong flag, I think. Yeah, BSE Hong Kong flag. A lot of people milling around. Yeah, so that's what we have right now. I don't really know if I want to do anything with the airport today, but I definitely wanted to show you. Uh, so I'll see you back once i figure out what I want to do. Welcome back guys, just working on something here. Uh, we're trying to 
get this road here, starting uh, around here at the university, uh, upgrade into an avenue. But we're running into a bit of an issue here. We have these two schools pretty close together, but there's no space between them. And I don't really want to demolish it because... Well, that's not really realistic, is it? And the problem is there, there's actually the, the major... Uh, the, the city border was around here, the, the neighbor connection. I think it was over there, yeah. So it's pretty hard to achieve using an avenue, so what I'm thinking is we'll have the avenue uh, enter somewhat differently, like over here. But that comes with a diff different problem, of course, we can't really have it through here, and we can't have it through here. What I was thinking for to do is have it go like this, so the dire this direction is, in, is over here, so it connects like that. And this connection goes over here like that. But the problem is you can't really have an intersection of these guys together at an avenue for some reason. I have no idea why. It should work, I think, but it doesn't. So we're thinking of different solutions. Um, it's not easy. We don't really have a lot of space here. Uh, let's see. We could uh, use tunnels, I guess. Do we have tunnels like that we do? So these guys, these kind of small tunnels. They use uh, subways. Oh, no. for example, and have an exit next to it, which and that, that menu takes a long time to load. Okay, good. So we have that, and then we wait some more, and connect these. Okay, so that works. The problem is getting it done here. I mean, we could place uh, one-way exits, like over here. Uh, exits. Yeah, it will be an exit, right? Sure is. Could have an uh, not that kind of exit, though. Maybe the, the easy solution is just to move it like one one block further. <laughs> it might be the easiest solution, really. Yeah, it's not realistic. Sorry, guys. It's some nice arrows over there. Like this, and then we can just have that transfer into there. Have that transfer into there, and have the school over here. Where is it? Out of brief at elementary school. I haven't seen that one. Did I install it recently? I probably did. It's been so long since I've played. It really has. Uh, this one? Yeah, it's this one. Okay, where's the parking side of the school though? Is there really yeah, okay, that looks that looks decent. I guess. Sure. We have parkings over here, a little bit of parking. And then this road we can probably straighten it out so it enters over here. Have some uh, residentials here. That's cool. Uh, what can we do over here? We could just place the, the, the normal 5x5, five five, but then we get that, uh, that, well, that brown building. What if we do this? Will it grow? I don't think it will. Oh, it will. Ooh, what's that? That looks kind of Mediterranean. It sure is. Yeah, that's a Mediterranean. I didn't know I had that in my plugins. I really didn't. Mm. Yeah, I don't really like it. It doesn't really fit the team here. Well, team. <laughs> Doesn't really fit in. There's some residential over here. This should probably be a park actually. Let's wait for it to load. There it is. What's that? Okay, yeah, that will work. Sure. You can stay for now at least. Okay, we have a park. So that looks cool. We could probably have one here too. So that should have solved that part of the problem, but of course it's not. It's not we're not done here, we still have to connect it that, that way around. Mm, yeah. This skyscraper looks a bit out of place, isn't it? I like this one though, yeah. Hmm. Let's see. Does it work like that? I don't think it does, does it? Yeah. Oh, we have... Might be because of this bus station. Nope. Could connect it over here, which is... Not really realistic. Unless, of course, where's the na the near the nearest avenue? That's quite of quite oh, mm. it's quite far away. Mm. Unless what we could do is crash the game. Nope, not crash the game. Uh, have it go like this, maybe, mm. and then like have an S curve or something. Does this? Can you have S curves like this? I have no idea. I think you can, but I haven't really used it much. Hmm. 
Oh wait, that's not an S curve. We need to go. Yeah, at least over here. I can connect this and connect this. Yeah, sure. Awesome. Hmm. <laughs> Looks a bit awkward. <laughs> a nice way to slow down traffic, I guess. Then we have these streets. Uh, is this guy still connected? Yeah, it sure is connected somewhere. So that's good. We can reroute this a bit. Same here. This guy is abandoned. Let's get rid of it. That's a nice building. We don't really care about, you know, historic monuments and stuff. <laughs> but there's a way to remove that cloud. I was... <laughs> you should have seen me. I was just pointing at that cloud at my, at my monitor, thinking you would see it, but of course you wouldn't. This could probably be rerouted as well. We, we want to avoid having um, streets connect to avenues directly. We want to be able to... Yeah. But I guess while we're at it, we can probably do this as well. Uh, do we have some commercial bombs? We do, we do. That's good. And then this, how is this going to connect? Hmm. Can we do it like this or something? We could do it like this, but... Yeah. Hmm. Is there space over there? I can't really see it. Stupid building that way. Yeah, it's still in the way. Um, Let's see here. Guess we'll have to do it like this for now. Yeah, we'll have to do it. Ooh, I like these. Do they change colors? Let's speed up. Yeah, they sure do. Okay, so let's plant some clouds here. Commercials really do grow better when there are a lot of avenues. Let's see if we can get some nice box, uh, boxy stores. Uh, what are they? To grow? Uh, I doubt it. I've had very little uh, luck with getting those guys to grow. Very little. What's this? Uh, Canada permanent insurance. Sure, why not? Uh, we have some space over there, so that would look good. Uh, we might have to fill it with at least one street. Like that, sure. Uh, have some residentials. We should probably actually be using medium density, shouldn't we? And then have smaller versions around here. Same here, sure. No, look. These guys, I like them in most situations, but not in an American kind of situation. I think these are based on builders in Sydney. Well, somewhere in Australia for sure, but not sure. I think it was Sydney. But they look kind of out of place here. This guy looks amazing. Yeah, amazing. So yeah, we have an MU over here. We have this one over here. Did that solve our traffic problems? Should have. Oh, it sure did. The only real congestion point is this street now, uh, this road. So should we just upgrade that into an avenue too? I think the, the, the big problem is that uh, there's no roads going through this, uh, this university clump complex and people have to travel around it and... I usually want my sims to use the, the avenues, but there's no real way to, you, to have them uh, use it this way uh, correctly. So I think we'll actually have to... Hmm, I don't really want to remove the side from our building, not this one either. Well, it's still updated. These guys would have to go to. Oh, they hold a lot of jobs. Especially this one. No, that's not really that one. Okay, what can we do? What can we do? Hmm. I guess one possibility is actually. Yeah, yeah, that might work. That might work. Okay. Uh, let's put it on pause here for a minute. I don't really like doing that, but in this case, let's actually use those um, those tunnels we were trying to use earlier might work in our advantage here. Yeah, so we have an entrance, like maybe over here. Uh, how do I turn it yeah, like this? And then have another one, with the load, an exit over here. Might actually be too close to make it work with the, the intersection. Okay, does it work? It sure does. And can we connect it now? We can, awesome. So we can have them go into a tunnel here, 
And then they basically become subways and then have them come out over here. Now the problem is getting this to work though. Mm, oh man, we can't really see much, can we? Enable the zone view. Mm, that's mildly better. Would have been better without the props, but okay. Um, hmm. We have this road to connect, we have the subway thingies to connect. And the subway should probably take uh, advantage of that. So we need an entrance here and an exit over here, I think, yeah. We'll have to figure out what to do with that road afterwards. So basically we could have it like... Let's get rid of that, that intersection first though. Before we start uh, doing some strange stuff. Can we not turn it like that, please? Can we really not? Sure can't. Does that work? It doesn't. Okay. Hmm. Why doesn't that work though? I would guess it would. It does like this, so sure. Entrance? Oh, that works. Okay. Exit. Perfect. Turn off the zone view. Let's see what we got. Okay, and then we can we can actually connect that road to there, can't we? Yeah. It won't be a full intersection, but it'll work for now. This road has become kind of useless, and we will downgrade it to a street. There. Perfect. Um, this guy... Hmm. Actually, it should probably also be downgraded to street, really. It doesn't really serve a, tr a true way purpose anymore. Okay. Oh yeah, we, we almost forgot to connect it. Are the avenues up here? No, there. The subways are down here, aren't they? Okay, there they are. Good. Now... Oh, that was... I think we will just connect them together and have one subway going through here. They're pretty expensive, so I don't want to use too much of them. That worked, and that worked. That should connect them. It should. Uh, the only downside of using these is that you can look through the earth. That's a kind of downside. Yeah. Yeah. We'll probably have to wait for the stuff to upgrade here. Where did I place it from? That seems like an entrance. Right, okay. They should eventually try to use it, I guess. They should. <laughs> Let's hope so. Um, this guy, what can we do here? Hmm, really a good space for anything. We could pro- oh yeah, I know what we'll, what we'll do with it. We'll have it as a parking for- an additional parking for the uh, the university, but first scrolling time. Woohoo! These parkings are located entirely at the bottom of this menu, so there's a lot of scrolling involved right now. While we're scrolling, I'll probably tell you why I've been away, or did I already tell you? I don't remember. Uh, yeah, I've been busy. <laughs> okay, we're almost there. Yeah, finally. Uh, what we could do is. Section so that it kind of connects to that, I guess. <laughs> you know, not a T section, a section. Actually, no, let's have a. Is it T junction with parking? Yeah. And then have a lot of crossroads up to here and have a. Pieces connecting these guys like this maybe. That guy will just be have to be an ant piece or something. Do the same. Ooh, those those parking sure look a bit wobbly. Uh, uh, how's that supposed to work? I guess yeah sure. Okay, and then we can fill it in with double parkings throughout. Where is it? One one by one true piece. Okay. 
I really hope that worked. Uh, I'll have to check once we're done here if it changes really did anything. And then an end piece over here. Okay, now, are people using it? They sure aren't. Come on, guys, you should be able to use it. Why aren't you using it? Hmm. They are connected, right? They sure are. Maybe I have to connect them both after all. Yeah, 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 okay, now they're getting used. Okay. So we can't really connect them together. Uh, my dog is making some noise outside. <laughs> well, yeah, no, people are using it for sure. That's cool. Hmm. They're kind of doing some strange stuff here, like coming out of this, which is an entrance, then jumping to this building and jumping to this street. Oh, oh man, there's some nasty garbage over there. What's the garbage uh, thingy? Garbage, garbage. Ah, where is it? There it is. Ooh, yeah. Total garbage is way up. Oh, we, can we maybe export some? We sure can. No, no, we're importing garbage. Well, that's not really what we wanted to do. Cancel, cancel. Well, we'll export a lot of garbage that way, and yeah. That might solve our problems, at least for a little bit. Ooh, open that menu. Hmm, interesting. Do you have space for some... Ah, oh, man. <laughs> no, it's not an amp, so this math well, but I did something wrong while, while I was installing some new features. <laughs> so, it's my fault, really. Oop, yep, oop, 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 oop. Um, garbage, 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 garbage. Air purification, no. Recycling center. I think we'll have to go with the landfill zones. Hmm. The environmentalists in my city won't like it. But I will. <laughs> it's it's always the easy solution to build landfill zones. Maybe over here. Zone is too small, we can handle that. Bye bye zone. At least it'll keep us dry for now. I mean I want to, to find a way to, to process them a lot better eventually. But for now it'll work. How's the traffic doing? Perfect. No problems whatsoever. One small piece that has a lot of traffic is this guy. I guess that's because of the people sidestepping onto the street here. Yeah. But it's cool to have a functional solution for this intersection here. Yeah, it looks cool. It's it saves time for most people too, and it's a nice connection. I hope this guy eventually grows. Uh, but for now, I think uh, it's a good time to end. I didn't have a lot of time. We have a Brown box over here, dang it. Uh, Wisconsin gas building. Hmm. That's interesting. Wow, what was that? Did you see that? Yeah, there's this like small thingy at the top here which disappears when I do this. Is it gone? Is it back when I do this? Nope. Yeah. Hmm. I wonder who made this. I should probably not query it. I want to crash. Okay, see you guys. Bye. Hey back guys, just a quick update, um, you remember the, the building we destroyed just before I left? This guy grew, the bell building. Ooh, nice, I like it. Uh, does it have nightlights? It should. Oh yeah, it sure does. Looks nice, looks kind of bluish though. Is that because it's made for dark night and I don't have the dark night or it's made for non-dark night? This guy is definitely not updated. But okay, um, <laughs> second time saying goodbye here guys, uh, see you around and have a good day, bye.